Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be solving yesterday's problem of the day that is left view of the binary tree. Okay. This question appeared in Acolyte, Amazon and 11 more companies. Okay. So this is quite important and this has a success percentage of 38%. And this is an easy level problem if you know recursion and you know trees. But this would be a medium level problem if you are not well accustomed with the recursion. Okay. So let's start with the problem statement now. So we are given a binary tree. Okay. What is a binary tree? A binary tree is a tree which can have at most two children. And we need to print the left view of it. The left view of the binary tree is the set of nodes which is visible when the tree is visited from the left side. Fair enough. So this seems quite simple. Okay. So let us take this example only. So we would first visit this one, this one, this one, and then this one. So if we just solve this prob if we just solve this example, what we can do is we can take hold of the root if it is present. After that, we would go to the left tree, okay, left side, and we would uh, take it. That is, we would take one, then we would take two, then we would again go to the left side, that is four. And then we would go there but after 4 we need to go on the right hand side okay right hand side right child so this is where we see that this approach would fail so instead of doing all this what we can do is we can do the traversal in such a way that whenever suppose this is level 1 this is level 2 and this is level 3 and this is level 4 and in each level what we can do is we can visit the right child first and then the left child. So how it would be helping us? Suppose the initial level is 0. Okay. And then I went to the left child that is 1. So I encountered 1 and then I can say that yes 1 is to be entered because it level is more than the previous level. So we can say 1 and we can use it in our answer that is 1. We would insert it. Then we would go to the left child of 1 that is 2, 2 left child of and this is the this is the level where it is 2. So this is also greater so we would just write it 2 and we would insert it. And then we would again go to the left because we are prioritizing on that. So again go to the left and we would see that level is 3 so we would increase the level and we would insert 4 to it. Fair enough. And then as this is complete and this has no left child then we would visit the right child of it. What is the right child? The right child has a level 4 which is greater than that and we would just insert this 8. This is also complete. So the traversal of 4 is complete. Now we would head back to 2. 2's left child is 5 with a level of 3 but it is less than the level we are having. So we won't be doing anything just we would be visiting it. This is 2 is visited then we would come to this side. Then we would go to the left right hand side and we see that the level is 2 and it is already not there it is 4 now so it is less so we won't be doing anything next we would be going to the right child or left child that as we say okay its level is 3 which is already less than the previous level so we won't do anything then level right this is how we would visit the whole tree and we would prioritize moving on the left side and if the level is greater than the level that we have we would just insert it to the vector okay and let's see how to solve this problem and I would implement it live itself. Fair enough. So let's have a vector because we need to insert the vector. Okay, inserting the vector. So we would have a vector of int and we would name it as answer. Then we would have the initial level max as 0 and we would pass it by reference. And then let's start writing the function itself. It won't have any return type because we are just visiting it we would have this root node okay to visit so we would just visit it and then what we need to do is we need to have this answer so we would take out this answer and we would keep it and we would pass by reference and then we would also take out this mx and we would also pass this by reference fair enough now we need to go down 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 till we come to the point where the root is null. So if root is equals to equals to null, we just return from that point. Okay. And then what we need to do is if the current level, okay. So this is where I would just write current 
if the current level if current is more than the level that we are having we are first updating that the current would be so maximum would be now current okay and then we would be moving to which side we would be moving to the left hand side so rec of root dash left and then the answer very answer would remain same and the mx would also get passed and the level would get increased because we are moving down itself and then we need to go to the same thing but this time to the right hand side fair enough let's just copy paste and we would go to the right hand side fair enough this is how we would go but this shouldn't be inside this if statement we would just write it here and suppose we got a new level that is greater than the previous level that we have got so what we are doing is we are inserting that to the answer so answer dot pushback root dash data fair enough so this seems this seems good and then i would just pass on everything okay root is there then we have the answer there and then we have the mx as zero because the initial level that we have is zero so because the first root level is one and then we have the current as the uh, current node as the level one itself okay so let's see if all thing is done yeah let's pass this as mx okay so this is done and then we would return the answer let me do a quick check over this so if root is equals to null we would simply return if the current level is greater than the level that we already have we would assign it to the maximum level that we have encountered and we would push the answer in it and then we would first go to the left hand side then we would go to the right hand side and then we have the left view that is the answer itself and then the max itself so let's see if this is running fine for the sample test cases one and three yeah it's one and three so let's now submit it and let's see what is the error and all okay so we have successfully solved this problem this is how the problem goes now let me do a quick dry run of again what i told with this tree only so this tree is not equal to null and initially the maximum level that we are having is this and this is where we would be storing the answer so initial level is one so we would just store it and now the maximum level is one fair enough then we would move forward with the left hand side we would visit that left hand side with the current level plus one so that would be two so two is greater than one so we would update it and then we would write it and then this side is complete because the leftover is null so this would the left child would be null and we would be passing this if this is null we would return it fair enough now same goes for the right hand side also and then we would come to this point and then we would now start visiting the right child and right child we would come again with the level as 2 and it is also the same so we won't update anything and that would be our answer so that's it for today thank you and have a nice day if you have any queries regarding this you can ask me in the live chat itself or else you can just comment down your doubts and you have anything to discuss or you any want anyone to answer then you can text me on linkedin my username is siddharth that's all for today thank you and have a nice day